Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of House Flipper. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I think today I want to buy maybe like a medium-sized house. Uh, let's maybe go... Hmm... Somewhere in this range. Let's try this one, the summer house. Let's see how this looks. Uh, if we like it, we may turn this into our office. Because, uh, we want to move out of this tiny little place, and this is kind of cool. Oh, this is actually really cool. It's like a little treehouse, kind of. Nifty. That's, uh, that's actually really interesting. So... Yeah, yeah, it's literally just a treehouse, uh, slash modern house. It looks like it's anchored to these trees. I don't know if, like, architecturally that's actually a solid enough foundation for building code or whatever, but, um, it's a nice little place. Got a room here. This would make a nice office, I think. We've got, this is currently like an office area. Oh, we have tree... We have trees growing through the house. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was a little unexpected, but that's fine. We got a bathroom here. Okay, so there's not a lot of space at all. Uh, it's a really cool house, though. I like it a lot. Um, so a few things we're going to have to do is obviously sell all the stuff inside so we can put in new stuff. Um, we'll have to... I think we'll probably end up keeping a lot of the colors, like this white. Uh, we'll go for... This is a very sort of modern style anyway. Uh, and I think we'll stick with that. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot to do. But first things first, we're gonna have to mow the lawn, we're gonna have to clean up the trash, get rid of all the dirt, uh, and stuff like that. So, let me get into it, and I think... Uh, we're gonna try doing it as like, as like a little bit of a time lapse. Okay, everything is done, and that went surprisingly quickly. There actually wasn't all that much stuff. Um, mowing the lawn took the longest by far out of everything, which is saying something, because, uh, like, all in all, this house was pretty clean. There wasn't a ton of trash everywhere, and it wasn't super dirty. Uh, I think this is going to end up being more of, like, a refresh than a renovation, if that makes sense. Although there is this one bee that keeps flying around. So I decided I wanted to make a couple changes to the bathroom. Nothing super crazy. But let's start here. Uh, and let's go bathroom fixtures, showers. And we want a left side shower. I think it's this one. And we'll just put that like right about there and assemble it real quickly. There we go. It's very similar to the one that was here before, uh, but the one that was, that was here before, the door was like super, like, worn down. Uh, so I wanted to replace it. Uh, and then over here, I think we definitely want to go with a sink again. So let's go back to bathroom fixtures. But instead of, I, I think they had... I actually don't know what sink they were using. Maybe the Yule one? If 
But I want to swap that out as well. Uh, I think I want to go... Maybe this one? Just out of curiosity, though. D does it have countertops that go with it? It does. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is install this. I think that's the middle right there. And then we're basically just going to hope that the counters will fit. And if they don't go all the way to the wall, that, like, it's fine. It's not ideal, but uh, we'll move this up just a little bit. And then let's search for this. Okay, so it's not going to quite go all the way to the wall, but it, it should be close enough that it's fine. Man, I don't know if I like that, though. Uh, let's try switching the bathroom floor tiles and see if that changes my mind a little bit. Let's maybe go something... I think I want to go with kind of a, a, a sort of rustic vibe to this place. It's sort of very, like, natural colors and all that kind of stuff. So looking through the various bathroom tiles, we got some options. I'm thinking maybe we try something like this, this Eclipse Brick. This might be what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. Yeah, that might work. And then we'll need to change the wall colors. So let's go wall tiles and maybe let's see if we have dark floors I'm thinking maybe something like this let's see how this looks no that's gonna blend way too much with the floor we still want them to be distinct from each other maybe something that's like gray Ooh, or this this could maybe work how's that look Eh, still too much brown. Yeah, I think we want to find something that's like a light gray. Or an off-white of some sort. This could work. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a couple of these. Uh, three should be enough, I think. And let's try putting these up. How does that look? Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I think that's what we'll go with. I think that gives us a nice uh, kind of color palette between the, the wooden sink and the walls and all the other stuff, I think this actually will look really nice. Uh, especially once we get some more wood tones in here, which we're going to do with, uh, like, the mirror and some of that kind of stuff. Uh, probably going to end up getting rid of these black corner shelves just to fit the aesthetic I'm going for a little bit better. But yeah, this is nice. This is coming together. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do some more work on the bathroom. And then uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, I went ahead and finished up the bathroom. And I got to say, I love how this turned out. So I swapped out the door. These were like white doors. I swapped them out for uh, this Anion interior door, which I think fits much better. Uh, and check this out it's so nice and cozy and like natural oh it's gorgeous i love this bathroom uh so yeah lots of wood tones as i said went with a big wooden mirror we got the wooden countertops wooden shelf over here even went with the toilet that has like a wood uh frame around it to make that sort of fit uh added in a couple of hanging plants in the corners here to bring in a little bit of green added a couple uh, things over here to add in some other colors as well. A little bit of green there. 
Uh, the carpet is just lighter shades of brown to contrast a bit with the uh, the floor. But yeah, I really love how this all turned out. Also, I really like these sconces for this, uh, this bathroom as well. I think they fit the theme really nicely. And then there's a lot of just sort of other wooden things. We got a wooden toothbrush holder, a wooden soap dispenser, a wooden cup. Uh, and then I could have gone with more wooden stuff on the shelf over here, but it just kind of blended in with the shelf. So I decided to add uh, some non-wooden things to give us, you know, a little bit more uh, variety and color. But yeah, this is a gorgeous bathroom. I love it. it it's uh, far more interesting and inviting than the previous one. So yeah, turned out great. So now I think I've kind of got my theme uh, for the house is this sort of very natural sort of tones and things like that. Uh, I think we are once again going to want to go with the same door. Uh, we'll put this one right there. So it'll open up going this way. Okay. So the doors will match. Uh, and then we got to figure out how we're going to use this space. This tree in the middle of the room is a bit awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is for sure. We'll probably have like a small kitchenette like here, I'm thinking. This can be like a living room and dining room space. Um, we could make this the office. It was the office before and then make this the bedroom. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with some things. Let me see what I can come up with. Well, I am really starting to love the vibe of this place. And uh, as you can see, it looks quite a bit different. Uh, yeah, we did some stuff. So uh, I swapped out some of the wood on the deck. This was all pretty minor. Changed the color of the stairs and stuff going up a little bit. Nothing too major there. But once we get inside... I went with a darker wooden floor. Uh, I decided to make this little part that kind of sticks out that, uh, you know, the bathrooms back here. Uh, I decided to make this like a stone cladding um, just for a little bit of a texture difference with the rest of the room. And then for the rest of the room, I went with these kind of light colored vertical wood panels. Uh, and I really like how it turned out. Um, we've kind of gotten away from modern interior into more sort of rustic natural, and I really love it. Uh, and there's so many plants that I have put down. We've got a plant wall here, these living walls. We've got uh, a couple of plants spread about here, and then there's a bunch around as well. Lots of splashes of green. I put up a painting. Uh, the chandeliers, I think, work really well with uh, the rest of the theme we're going for. Um, they just, they give this nice sort of yellowish glow instead of that like bright white color, which I think is great. And they've got the wood highlights on them as well. Uh, for the kitchen, I kept it pretty simple. Just threw down a basic kitchen set with a couple of cabinets above it and a fridge. Nothing, nothing super crazy. Uh, there's not really space for a proper large kitchen anyway. Uh, living room is just a couch and a uh, coffee table. And then we've got a little dining table over here with a couple of chairs. Uh, this is kind of the office space. There's a desk with a chair and a couple of cabinets, some shelves, a whiteboard, a little trash can. Mm, pretty straightforward. Uh, again, not a whole lot of space to work with, but it'll do for now. And then just to fill in some space, I added like a shoe cabinet, uh, some coat hangers, another shelf with a couple more plants on it. Uh, and an area rug. And I think it all kind of works really well. I love the atmosphere as you kind of walk in and you see that it's just so, like, inviting. And mm, I love it. Uh, so now the only room that we actually have left is the bedroom. And then we are done. And I think I have decided that we are going to move our office here. Uh, and I don't think I can do that from here. I think I have to go back to my office and move it. But I think this is going to be our new office. This will be our new home uh, once it's all finished. So let's work on the bedroom. And I could keep carpeted floors, but I don't think I want to. I think I want to go with the floor panels. What did we use out here? I think we used... Uh, 
these ones? I'm pretty sure these are what we used, right? Yeah. Yeah, we used these before. So we're going to use these again. Just so there's a consistent uh, floor pattern from room to room, which I think will be nice. And I like hardwood floors in bedrooms just fine. Throw it on a carpet to make it a little bit softer. Uh, but outside of that, we're good. Now for the walls... Uh, we could, again, go with the sort of wooden colors, but I don't think we necessarily need to. And actually, that's another thing. We could maybe go with a lighter colored floor and then do darker walls instead. That would also be an option. I think we definitely want to go with wooden panels again for the walls. Um, maybe we could do something like these. What color is this? How do these look? Um, they're okay. They don't really give me a rustic vibe, though. It's more, yeah, I, I'm, I don't think that's what we want. Trial and error, my friends, trial and error. Uh, what else do we have here? We could go with, like, a herringbone pattern. That could be interesting. This would probably involve changing the floor color. But that wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of like that. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to have to change the floor pattern, for sure. Because it's too, it's too similar in color to the floor. But I think I think this is what I want to go with. Let's just get two more. That should be enough to finish. I think we might even be able to get away with only one more. Nope, one short. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Um, we do need to change the floor, as I said. So let's see what else we have for floor options. I think if we're going to go with this darker colored wall, we should go with a lighter colored floor. So maybe we can go with something like this. And just see how that looks. Um, it's okay. It's a little too clean for what I'm going for here. Let's try maybe these instead. These are a little bit more uh, rough. Yeah, I think that's a little better. I wish the door had a little bit more contrast to it. But you know what we could do? I have an idea. Let's actually go back to walls, go to wall tiles. And what we could actually do there, just for that one little bit, is something like this. To make this door pop out a bit more. What do we think? It's not bad. What do we think of that? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'd like something that's a little bit more stone rather than brick. Like a little bit more of a sort of natural pattern. Like, maybe something like this could work. That might do the trick. Yeah, that might be it right there. Let's just see. Just to make the door pop out. Maybe. What do we think of that? I don't love that either. I don't know. I gotta play around with this a little bit. Um, I wish there were more tiles that were just very stone-like 
rather than, uh, or maybe this will work. Well, I just saw it. Where'd it go? Maybe these will work. Is this what we used in the bathroom? It might be, actually. Yeah, that's what we used in the bathroom. We don't want to use that here. Maybe these? Or are these going to blend? Nah, definitely not. That's that's not what I'm looking for either. Yeah, I'll have to play around with this a bit. Uh, let me see if I can find something I like. Okay, it took me some time to figure it out, but I think the bedroom is done. I decided to go with the same stone that I used over here, and I think that works pretty well. Put in a radiator, some shelving, dresser, a painting on the wall, uh, you know, some other various decorations and things. Single bed with a bedside table and a lamp. A brown rug went with the same chandelier lighting that we used elsewhere. And then I even put in like a little bit of a dog bed. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Uh, we also went ahead and moved the office. So this is now officially our office, our base of operations, if you will, which is great. So this place is done. We'll be seeing a lot more of it in the future unless I decide to upgrade my office again at some point. But I think for the time being, this is a pretty nice location and I like it quite a lot. So, uh, since we moved our office here, we actually have a different home to sell. We have to go back to the first office and sell this thing. Uh, because we don't need this place anymore. This is no longer our, our, our workspace. So, might as well put it on the market and see what we can get for it. I see no reason not to. Uh, and everything here is already done. I'm not going to do any garden stuff with this house because it's so small and stuff anyway. So let's just go ahead and sell it and see what happens. So let's see. Wow. They want me to sell it for a loss. Um... <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's a little surprising. Uh, okay. Well, I, you know what? Fine. Whatever. I'll get, I, I'll get my money back. It's a thousand times nicer than it was when I first got here. I don't know why they're not interested in it at all, but hey, you know, sometimes sunk cost fallacy. I'm not going to put any more money into it than I already have. It will be fine. Uh, I'm a little disappointed by that. I was hoping to be able to make at least something off of it, but I guess not. Oh, well. We have a nice new place to live now, and it is quite pretty. I like it a lot. Guys, I think that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.